Today, Kevin and I are gonna be comparing McVitie's Hobnobs. We have just the original, the OD one with milk chocolate. And mine's the gluten-free version. These uh, were probably more than we, uh, well, I know they were more than what we should have paid. Uh, they <laughs> they actually sell Hobnobs at like Meyer. They have like, what do you, what do you call it? I, I always, international That's what, Okay, the International Isle, that's what I was gonna call it. Um, so I don't know how much they cost there. We found both of these in World Market. So World Market, the gluten-free were $7.99. And then the regular were five forty nine at World Market. So, but and you get this one's a two hundred and sixty two. This is only one hundred and fifty gram. Wow! So almost half. So eight dollars for almost half. half. The size, yeah. Man. So we have reviewed uh, McVitie's Hobnobs before, uh, but we, I, I, to my knowledge, we have not had the gluten free. So I thought it would be a fun comparison, and I absolutely adore Hobnobs, but haven't had them in a long time. No, so uh, it'll be fun to try them again. Uh, so McVitie's, if you don't know, it, they're made in the UK. It's a really, really popular brand in the UK, and they sell all kinds of biscuits over there, yeah. and they're they're excellent quality. Yeah, um, and Hobnobs is one of their most popular brands. Yeah. So, uh, so the OD one, milk chocolate baked with 100% whole whole grain oats. Um, it says one Hobnob is 93 calories. Hmm. No artificial colors or flavors. Uh, Odie biscuits, it's oats, milk chocolate. It is okay. very Odie. Yeah, it is. You bet I, I just I think they're great. Okay. So Kevin can hold one up for you. That's the part you can't see, the chocolate. There's the Odie. Okay. And they snap mm -hmm. really easy. Over in the UK they dip these in their tea and stuff. Still delicious. Yep. They have like that. We uh, mm. over over there they have Lyle's golden syrup. Mm -hmm. It kind of has that golden syrup mm -hmm. kind of flavor. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they use that. I'm just saying it kind of has that flavor. Mm. Very good. It's Better than delicious. I remember them actually. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, these are out of the biscuits they have to choose from. These are one of my favorites. Yeah. It's the hobnob. <clears throat> and they're different from most of the cookies over here too. And you need to make sure when you choose them, you're gonna see different colors that say hobnobs. These have the milk chocolate on them. These are the ones you that I would recommend you get. Um, and they do have them. I don't know that Walmart sells them, but I know because Meyer has that international aisle, they have like a section uh, foreign food basically and um, they do sell these. I don't know where else I would have seen these. Mm. Um, but it's a nice, oh, it's exactly what it says. OD cookie. It's an OD cookie, but they didn't put cinnamon in it. You know, it, it, that, <coughs> um, the tree. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of oat cookies and oat things have cinnamon. They, yeah, the, uh, it seems like an American trend these days is we're gonna put cinnamon in everything. Yeah. And even if it doesn't require it or need it or it's not necessary, especially with an oatmeal cookie, OD cookie, yeah. um, it's just not necessary. I like these too, that they're not really what you consider dry cookies either. Cause no. a lot of oat cookies are very dry. I mean, these are a little dry, but they're not like dry your mouth out where you can't breathe. I bet these are good in uh, coffee, dipped in coffee or tea, because mm -hmm. the chocolate would get soft. Oh yeah, and it would soften up the whole cookie. These must be a little bit more fragile, because they put them in a plastic container. Yeah, yeah, that is very the different. The chocolate looks a little different. So the biscuit these, itself, let me hold them up together. This is fewer calories. They look different too. I guess This is the gluten-free one. You think because it's smaller is why it's, because it's not too many fewer calories. It's I don't think the biscuit itself is smaller. It's 80, it's actually thicker. oh, okay. It's 86 calories for the gluten-free. Um, enjoy your favorite knobby hobnobs packed full of oats, but without the gluten. Uh, no artificial colors, flavors, no hydrogenated vegetable oil. Okay. It's funny how the bottom looks different. Mm-hmm.
Mm. I think the flavor is pretty much the same. Um, it may not be quite as, you know, like the first one I said, it kind of had that Lyle's golden syrup flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't think these have quite that amount of sweetness to them, but they're, they're really close. I think they're very sweet. Mm -hmm. No, they're sweet enough. I know, but to me, one of the things I was going to say is I think they're a little bit sweeter. No, oh, really? No, I don't get a sweeter. The original. It's about the same for me. Um, I like them just as much. I yeah. think they're very delicious. I think the difference is, um, the texture difference is, the, um, the original Hobnobs have a, uh, to me, it's a chunkier oat texture. Yeah. Whereas this is more uh, like compact, like pressed. Yeah, a little more dense. Mm-hmm. And when you're eating it, it's a little, um, it's a little dry. It dries your mouth out a little bit more, a little thicker. They're absolutely just as good. If I had to eat gluten-free, I wouldn't have any problem buying No, it. not Except at I'd all. be go poor eating <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, I wonder. Of course, they're not gonna be that much over in the Okay. I have friends that watch. Brian, I know you're watching this video. You need to tell me how much is a regular package of hobnobs and how much are these over there? Because if, here it's eight dollars versus five fifty, basically. Uh, so, which would be really expensive over there. Yes, <laughs> extremely expensive. So I would like to know because usually stuff like that when it's uh, that much here they can go to the pound shop and get yeah. it and so i'm wondering how much which is like a dollar fifty for right. us <laughs> but if you have to have gluten free i'm thinking uh, unless these are an astronomical price why not get them because they're just as delicious yeah yeah i would if i were gluten free i would definitely eat them oh i i I'm not gluten, we're not gluten free, but we'll eat these. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying if I went to the store, if I was gluten free, I would for sure buy yeah. them. If I'm not gluten free, I'm just buying the regular. Yeah, you're gonna buy the regular, why wouldn't you? Because they're cheaper. Yeah, but for sure, if you have, if you've seen these on the shelf and for some reason you're thinking, oh, they won't be as good, then you're they're wrong. Really you need to try them. Mm -hmm. So, I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.